Okay, so I'm going to attempt to sew this guy up. Um, hopefully by now you've got to practice sewing pleats in the little practice video I made because um, this is really just a mind like bender, like I don't know, it's, it's a good, if you like puzzles, this is for you. So hopefully you practice with the pleat easy file before we do this one, I'm gonna do my best. And this guy is kind of messy, so I think what I'm going to do is probably delete some of the stuff that I don't really need anymore. Um, yeah, I don't need that guy. I'm delete him, get him, him out of here. Simplify things. I don't need him anymore because I moved the shoulder dart to this piece and this piece is looking good. This is all I need. Now, the only trouble with this piece, hmm, what is going on with our sewing? He's got a lot of weird sewing on uh, Wait, I don't, what are you even trying to be insane to? Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me just go clear this up real quick. What are you trying to be sewn to, buddy? I don't even know. So I, I think we need to delete this because this is going to be mirrored anyways. So I'm not sure what's going on. Oh gosh, this might really mess up my skirt. What's going on here? Okay, I don't know what that is. Um... Hmm, let's see. Oh, probably because I reversed this. You know what? I think just to make our lives easier, we're just gonna just delete all the stuff because this is a mess. The darts can stay, that guy. Okay, everything's good. But okay, so both of these guys, oh, I don't mind, do I mind the side seam being sewn? You know what? Just to be safe, I'm just gonna delete all the sewing because I don't need anything weird happening. Okay. I'll be a little work later, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, why don't I, yeah, okay. So this is where our center back was and we extended it three inches. So we really want this to be one of our folds and then, so this would be like the outer fold, is that right? Am I doing this right? I think that unless, yeah, this is the outer fold, I guess. And then there'll be a fold here and then that fold would meet somewhere on this side. Okay. Um, hopefully you're following along. <laughs> so right now it's a baseline because this is where our center back was. So I'm gonna unlock the baselines. Unlock all baselines, cool. Then I'm gonna pick this baseline and I'm gonna turn it into an internal line. I'm gonna put another internal line here, okay, inside, because for this guy to be folded and meet at center back, there has to be a fold here, I believe. So I'm gonna right click it, offset as internal line, and half of three inches is 1.5. Um, uh, extend, yes, okay. Now, when he is folded here, we might want to put an internal line of where this guy meets. So he would be folded, this guy's getting folded in side, he's getting folded out. So he would meet, line up with the internal line over here an inch and a half away as well. And I'll say reverse direction. Okay, now this will not work unless there are this, the internal lines are, are touching our pattern outlines. So just for safety, I think it's a good idea. I think they're fine, but just in case, I'm gonna say extend, trim, and add point to pattern line. Make sure you do that. Okay. Now, for this guy to get sewn, I need a segment line here that's also an inch and a half. Maybe I should get rid of some of this other weird stuff make my life a little bit easier. All of you can delete. Get out of here. This got really messy when I was working with it, didn't it? So I'm going to split this line and I'm going to do 1.5. I could have also hit the add segment tool. Okay, actual point. So now I need to make this a pleat. So from our video, there was two ways. I could open up property, editor, and I could click and manually type in zero degrees for the fold, 360 for the fold, fold angle, and then just leave this one at 180. Or I could use the pleat fold tool, and I think I just click and drag and double click, 
And then we want a knife pleat. The number of lines are, we are using three internal lines. I guess the outside one is going to be three, and then the inside will be 360. Okay, so if that's the case, that should have changed our lines to this one is now zero. Oh, good, it is. Hold angle. This one should be 360, and this should be left at 180. Yeah, so it did it for us. We could have manually typed it or used that fold tool. I think in order to use a fold tool, it is helpful to understand what it's changing in case something weird happens. Another tip from Chloe is if we are using pleats, they recommend starching your fabric so it holds the fold a little bit better. So to do that, we can right click it with our pattern tools and then um, say strengthen. So it turns it orange just to let us know. Okay, so we told it how it's gonna fold and I think it's ready to fold. Now we have to sew it. So to do that, we're gonna go to 2D pleats, pleats sewing. And you start with the little segment first, so click, click, that's an inch and a half. Now, it's going to have to be sewn to an inch and a half times three because of the way the pleats get fold, outer, under, and then where it's placed. So click here, and look, it automatically did 1.5 times three is 4.5, and it all lines up. So that's lovely. And the stitch line looks like this because those get sewn, and this gets sewn together, and it's folded underneath it. Hopefully everything's going to be great. So now the last part is just a regular sewing, whichever one you like better. Um, click, click. Okay, I think we're good. So let's see here. Now I have to kind of re-clean this up too. So maybe what I'll do here is on my 2D girl. Oh, I have to set my fold line, remember? Okay, so I'm gonna click here. I'm going to right click. We are going to unfold symmetric editing with sewing. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Let's see if I can handle that. I'm going to do the same for this guy. Hopefully, this works. Okay. Okay, so now maybe we should go to 3D. Oh, you know, I'm going to close this little property editor. Give me a little more space. And I'm clicking on um, you and you, and let's right click and reset 3D. Maybe we reset 2D. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be in the back. Okay, so I'm going to click you, and we have to get our little arrangement points out. So I only have to click it one time, and then now I can go to our back side, and I just get to click one of these blue dots. Oh, I guess both were close selected. Whatever, that worked out. I think we're good. That's a good placement. Now I have to get all my sewing because I deleted all the sewing. So let's see here. I just want to make sure this is all lined up correctly. So this is, what side is that if I select it? Okay. So you are going to get sewn. So I'm going to say you to you. Uh-oh. Okay, it got twisted on me. Right click. Um, excuse me. Right click, reverse. I don't know what I did there. Um, that's fine, this stuff's already sewn. The skirt has to be sewn too. Let's see here, and then the shoulder seams. So let's see the shoulders, I know that's pretty easy. So I'll say, I'll click you. Click, I hope I did that right. Looks decent, okay. Now for the skirt part, oh. Is this going to be problematic because of all of my pleats? <laughs> no. We'll just see what's going to happen. This might be a mess, but messes are fun because we get to learn. Yay. Um, okay. So how about we just do, yeah, this segment here with this no, segment right there. Great. And then, hmm. Okay, so then what I want to do, because I don't, you know, like if you're going to have a blue song shirt, it's not necessarily folded at the bottom, but I think we've kind of told it to fold. This is a little experimental. We'll see what's going to happen here. Maybe I'll go over here and I'm going to pick you all. Should I do here? Uh, 
I don't even know. Hmm. Should I go here? And then I just have that other thing. Okay, I'm going to pick you. Well, jeez, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, okay, whatever. This is a mess, but whatever. Oh, did it sew it to something? Hello, aren't you working? I don't think it likes it. Are you going to crash on me? Okay, so, yeah, no. Hmm. I almost want to, like, tuck it in. I wonder if that's something I can do. I, I think that is, and that's more advanced than I know yet. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this. I don't want you guys to be something together. And I wonder if I could, like, pull open the skirt and, like, tuck in the shirt. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try it. Okay. Let's give this a whirl. Let's see what happens. And simulate. Oh, you know, yeah, that's good. Oh, let me yank all this. Get over here. Whatever you want, funny. Okay. It's something. It's something. It's something. It's something. Oh, uh, is it two? Let's roll in. Right click here. What's going on? Do you like our pleats? Are you messy? What's happening? Should we get folded right? I'm not sure. Oh, must have like did something weird there. Okay, I think it was just harsh on it. So I'm not happy with me. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna hit pause. The, maybe these are are funny because of the flipping. So. Okay, so this guy is zero fold. Let's look at this property. You're zero and you're 360. Should you be zero? Yeah, and you should be 360. Oh, am I wrong? Yeah, that's, or not. Should it be backwards? I don't know. Should I, let's try if I do zero here. This might be a mess. And then 360 here. And then this should just be 180, right? Okay, what happens if I do that? fighting even one more. Mm. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so let's go back and put them back. So you can be, um, oh, remember it probably mirrored it too, I just realized. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Because then, hmm, maybe what we do then ugh, is I take you and I say not symmetrical anymore. Remove link editing. Hmm. And then now maybe I can go here and pick zero for you and then 360 for you. What happens if I do that? Yeah. And you're folded nice. Is everybody folded happy or no? No, I think we could have left symmetrical. That really did not do it. This should also be zero. And you should be 360. Okay. <laughs> Is it a sewing issue that happened, I wonder? Okay, I think it's working now. Do you see my little box plate thing that's happening? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It did work. So next is how do I get it tucked into the skirt? You don't have to, you guys. This is great. <laughs> but if I was crazy like that, oh, I'd probably make it longer for one to actually tuck it in. And then I would like pull out the skirt and like, I don't even know if I could do that. Try to put it on top. I don't know. We're not going to learn that today. Sorry. We'll have to look for another video for that guy. But at least I did sew it up. We got our little box pleat. That's cool. And um, we have a nice straight hem on the back. Let me hit six. Number six. Um, the front's fitting a little funny. Let me hit eight. I think I'm just like, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> Gravity is having a weird day today. Did I freeze anything? I don't think I did. Maybe just because it's so stiff. 
Um, and then if you don't want it to be stiff, I believe there's like a way to view it so you don't see it. Probably, um, one of these guys. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Sorry. Okay. I forget which one it is. It'll take me a minute to find it. If we don't want to view that it's orange. What does happen if I unstrengthened it? Ooh. It, it is kind of weird that it's like sitting up so high on her. Why are you up so high? That's weird. Where's gravity? Why isn't it pulling it down? Kind of weird. I feel like that's a weird, weird fit. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're still new. <laughs> but we're chipping away, guys. We're chipping away. Okay. Well, let me know how this goes for you. Um... Here, I'm just gonna, I cannot stop playing around, can I? Um, yeah, if you don't wanna look at those, you can just select them. Okay, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Let me know if you guys have questions. I have a feeling we're gonna be talking about this a lot.